What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. Hey, I got a question here from a guy named uh, Maximilian Metzka. And uh, he's asking about BJJ, so I want to answer his question. And guys, just just for the record here, let me just say this right now. I apologize. I'll be leaving y'all for like these big long stints. I'm working like 14-hour days right now. Man, it's just real rough out here. I'm just getting set up and settled in Germany. So you guys got to excuse me, man. I'm tired. I come home. I like eat, sleep, or actually eat, shower, sleep. I mean, just, man, it is just rinse and repeat. But anyway, looks like it's clearing up. It's going to get better in the near future. Let's go on to this question. BJJ related question. Hello, Abu American. My name is Max and I'm 39 years old. I tried to stay fit for most of my life, mostly through gym and basketball, though. And I think Maximilian, you're German, right? Because Metzka is a German name. If for those of you who don't know, that means butcher in German. And um, you said tough here, but though, I think I, is, is what I think. Anyway, let me stop being a, a grammar. Uh, Nutcase. I used to be an English teacher. Sorry. So <laughs> let me start over. My name is Max. I'm 39 years old, and I tried to fit mostly through my life uh, and throughout my life, mostly through gym and basketball. I never really was too much into the martial arts. I was just wondering, do you think I still, or it is still feasible for me to take off BJJ, or I guess you say to take G BJJ or to start it? I guess is what you're trying to say. I've had a few sessions. At, I had a few seasons. I had a few sessions and enjoyed it. In addition, I'm a little guy, only 169 centimeters tall and 64 kg. Yeah, you're a lightweight. I would be happy about any advice and insights. Nice channel, by the way. Thanks for the videos. Many thanks. Kind regards, Max. Max, first and foremost, I want to thank you. And you're welcome for the videos. And I thank you for um, the liking my channel. Um, Max, look, I'm a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. I haven't trained for a while just because of my whole transfer and bouncing around the world. But, uh... You know, as a brown belt, I, you know, I started jujitsu when I was 38 ish, 39 ish, 37, 38 ish. So about the same age as you. Um, age isn't really an issue. And we see all these memes online, you know, old guys doing jujitsu. There was this guy, he showed up to, um, Cutter, old guy, older guy, he's not old, old, but his name is like, I think it's like Luis or something like this. He's, uh, I think he's Puerto Rican. I can't remember exactly, but Hispanic brother. And, um. Dude came in jujitsu with smashing guys, purple belt. You know, he's an older guy. He wasn't very big either. You know, he wasn't a fat guy or anything. He was real thin, very skinny looking guy. Unfortunately, I didn't get to train with him, but I saw some of the, you know, the videos and the compliments and the comments from the brothers on the team. And they were saying the guy was quite a beast, you know, for a purple belt. And he was an older guy. I think he was like in his 60s or, or coming up on his 70s. I don't think it's too late. We look at Helio Gracie. Helio Gracie practiced up until he died. He died like in his 90s. Age isn't really such a big thing as long as you've kept yourself physically fit and you're not like decrepit and like, you know, walking around like them old people you see in the streets and they just, they can barely walk, let alone do any sports. And even then, I think doing some sort of sport would be better for them. I'm not a medical practitioner, so let me not, you know, put too much into that. But I think, you know, staying active throughout your years, your younger years is better for you in your older years. And Allahu Ta'ala Alam. And some people actually recover from doing sports from like, you know, this decrepit creakiness. Um, so I don't think, no, 39 is definitely not too old, man. By far, not too old. Next, you said uh, that you're a small guy, 169 centimeters, 64 kg. Now, this reminds me of a guy, his name was Abu Musa. He uh, he did jujitsu with us on a team until he changed teams. And he was a small guy, about 64 kg himself. Guy was a was quite the, you know, the good fighter. Actually, you know, uh, your weight category is, is quite uh, a category filled with excellent fighters. The only time that being a lightweight would be a problem is if you had like a lightweight and a heavyweight and both were the exact same belt with the exact same techniques and the exact same levels and skills, which is, of course, impossible because some people are going to have a better aptitude and this, that, the other. Then the guy's weight and his additional strength that comes with the additional muscle mass is, of course, going to break the break the balance. But since this isn't really the case, you're going to come to find that, like, lightweight guys, they're really good. Look at the Mio brothers. Look at uh, the Mendez brothers. These guys are beasts and they're lightweight. They will smash guys that are significantly larger than them. Now, you do have those large guys that are just, like, uh, I can't say his name because it's a Brazilian name. Vinny Mag Magalhaes or something like this. Guys are, like, just a monster, you know, and he, he'll smash the heck out of you. Plus, he's muscular, you know. 
There's a lot of muscular fight. Andre Garvalho, he's a big guy, excellent technique. But you got small guys like that too. And you got small guys that can fight these guys to a standstill. Look at, um, uh, what's his name? Trains in New York. Oh, gosh, he's a legend. How do I forget his name? Marcelo Garcia. Jeez, he's a small guy. Who who beats Marcelo Garcia? It's very rare that he gets beat. Guys, he's a tiny, tiny guy. So size isn't really that big of a thing. You know, technique is more important than power in, 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 in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, and this is actually one of the big arguments we have, you know, with the catch wrestlers. Catch wrestlers, they have a lot of strength. Yes, they have technique, and I'm not throwing these guys under the bus. But, you know, catch wrestlers, they're a lot of energy, they're a lot of strength, you know. And, yeah, well, anyway, I don't think they focus on technique and position as much as we do, which makes a big difference for us as Jiu-Jitsu fighters. <laughs> So your size and your age really shouldn't be an issue. If you have any sort of outlying medical problems, knee problems, ankle problems, hurt arms, whatever else, back problems, let your coach know, let your training partner know so they know not to injure you. And it's really that simple. Generally, you find the jujitsu gyms, they have a lot of mutual respect. And if you find one that doesn't have that, go to another one. Right off the rip, go to another one. Because you're just going to end up with injuries or worse injuries. Even if you're an absolutely healthy person, no injuries whatsoever, past or, or, or you know, whatever, or contemporary, in, you know, current injuries. If you find that there is a lack of respect on the mat in terms of like the guys are tapping you out and it's hurting whatever else you know they're not giving you a chance to tap out normally guys give you a chance to tap before things start to hurt they're not doing that and they're just yanking submissions and whatnot go find another gym because you're just gonna end up with an injury after injury and uh yeah you don't need that man you don't need that because all it's gonna do it's like boxing in that sense if you get into the boxing ring with a guy and he just starts pounding on you all you're gonna learn to do is this you're never gonna learn how to fight you're just going to learn how to try and turn your face away and run away from the guy. And so, you know, you don't want to be in an environment like that in jujitsu. You know, because you'll learn, like, just messed up stuff to try and protect yourself and your joints. And then it's going to affect your, your, your jujitsu over time. So, um, I hope that answers your question. Go out there, man. Get on the mat. Give it a try and stick with it. I, I advise everyone to learn a fighting sport. I, of course, I have a proclivity towards jujitsu, So, I say go for it because, you know, it's not something that I'll... Well, actually, it is something a lot of people do now, but, you know, if you, you ever end up in a fight, you have the ground to take it to, you know, and most people don't know what they're doing down there. So, um, you know, something I suggest, get to it, man, go out there, give it a try and let me know what happens, bro. All right. This is your man, Apple American. Answer the question for Maximilian. Catch you on the B side. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All at Apple American. I'm out.